What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Daily Psalm, where every day we're going through one of the songs. Here we are. Here we are on Psalm 40 for the second time. Hallelujah. For the choir director, a Psalm of David. I waited patiently for Yahuwah, and He inclined to me and heard my cry. He brought me up out of the pit of destruction. Out of the miry clay. So that's the resurrection. The pit is Sheol. And that's where we all go when we die. We go to Sheol and all the righteous are going to be raised at once. And at the end, of the after the thousand year reign, everybody's going to be raised. And as we see here. In verse 1, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. The call goes out, the cry goes out to God for help. And he delivers. And this is uh, what we see here also in Psalm 18. In my distress I called upon Yahuwah and cried to my God for help. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry for help before him came into his ears. Then the earth shook and quaked, and then we get a whole picture of what happens at the time of the return of Jesus, when he comes on the clouds. It's the same time as the sixth seal, as we see. We see the hailstones and coals of fire. It's the first trumpet. And we see that uh, it's the deliverance from captivity. I call upon Yahuwah who is worthy to be praised and I am saved from my enemies. And we see this in a lot of the Psalms. And then down here in verse 16 is where we see the deliverance. He sent from on high, he took me. He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but Yahuwah was my stay. Hallelujah. He brought me forth also into a broad place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. In the broad place, that's his kingdom. So back here to Psalm 40, I waited patiently for Yahuwah. And he inclined to me and heard my cry. He brought me up out of the pit of destruction, out of the miry clay. And he set my feet upon a rock, making my footsteps firm. That rock is his kingdom, his kingdom, the new Jerusalem. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and will trust in the Lord. Trust in Yahuwah. So, this is the same new song that we see in the book of Revelation. We see this uh, same picture here in Revelation 14. Then I looked, and behold, the Lamb was standing on Mount Zion, and with him 144,000. says, He set my feet upon a rock. He brought me up out of the pit of destruction, out of the miry clay, and He set my feet upon a rock, making my footsteps firm. And the next thing is the new song, so... Behold, the Lamb was standing on Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, having his name and the name of his Father written on their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, like the sound of many waters, and like the sound of loud thunder. And the voice I heard was like the sound of harpists playing on their harps. And they sang a new song before the throne, and before the four living creatures and the elders. And we also see a new song here in Revelation chapter 5. When he had taken the book, the four living creatures, and so uh, this is the seven seal scroll, when Jesus takes, this, takes the seven seal scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, each having a golden, holding a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And that's the, the prayers that we see, the cry out for help. And they sang a new song, saying, Worthy are you to take the book and to break its seals. For you were slain, 
and purchased for God with your blood men from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests to our God, and they will reign upon the earth. Hallelujah. And as we see here in Psalm 40, many people are going to see this. People are going to see the resurrection and the rapture. People are going to see us being taken into his kingdom. I waited patiently for Yahuwah, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He brought me up out of the pit of destruction, out of the miry clay, and he set my feet upon a rock, making my footsteps firm. Hallelujah. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and will trust in the Lord, trust in Yahuwah. So many people are going to come to faith just off that happening, off seeing the truth of things. How blessed is the man who has made Yahuwah his trust and has not turned to the proud, nor to those who lapse into falsehood. Many, O Yahuwah my God, are the wonders which you have done and your thoughts toward us. There is none to compare with you. If I were to declare and speak of them, they would be too numerous to count. The wonders of God. God is so amazing. His blessings. He blesses us so much. He gives us so much. Sacrifice and meal offering you have not desired. My ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. Then I said, Behold, I come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O my God. Your law is within my heart. And this is what we see uh, here, here in Hebrews 10. Therefore, when, when he comes into the world, he says, speaking about the Son, Jesus, sacrifice and offering you have not desired, but a body you have prepared for me. And whole burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin you have not taken, you have taken no pleasure. Then I said, Behold, I have come, in the scroll of the book it is written of me, to do your will, O God. Hallelujah. After saying the above, sacrifices and offerings and whole burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin you have not desired. Nor have you taken pleasure in them. So, because God doesn't want us to have to offer sacrifices for sins. Because he doesn't want us to be sinning. And that wasn't his ultimate plan anyway, to have those uh, go on for the forgiveness of our sins. I have proclaimed glad tidings of righteousness in the great congregation. And that's the body of Christ in heaven. Behold, I will not restrain my lips. O Yahuwah, you know, I have not hidden your righteousness within my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness and your truth from the great congregation. Hallelujah. You, O Yahuwah, will not withhold your compassion from me. Your loving kindness and truth will continually preserve me. His grace and truth. Hallelujah. For evils beyond number have surrounded me. My iniquities have overtaken me, so that I am not able to see. They are more numerous than the hairs of my head, and my heart has failed me. See, God will blind us if we're in sin. He'll Allow us to not see clearly. For evils beyond number have surrounded me. And this is 
Speaking about the uh, end time captivity. My iniquities have overtaken me so that I'm not able to see. They are more numerous than the hairs of my head, and my heart has failed me. Be pleased, O Yahuwah, to deliver me. Make haste, O Yahuwah, to help me. Let those be ashamed and humiliated together who seek my life to destroy it. Let those be turned back and dishonored who delight in my hurt. Let those be appalled because of their shame who say to me, Aha! Aha! Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Hallelujah! Let those who love your salvation say continually, Yahuwah be magnified. Hallelujah! Let those who love your salvation say continually, Yahuwah the Lord be magnified. Hallelujah. Since I am afflicted and needy, let the Lord be mindful of me. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O oh my God. Hallelujah. He is, a, he is our shelter, our stronghold, our salvation, our deliverer. And even though the enemy may have a hold of some of us right before his return, he's going to deliver us. And But we see the same picture all throughout the Psalms. The deliverance from the end time captivity, the ten days, the church of Smyrna. And that's when he comes on the clouds. He brought me up out of the pit of destruction, out of the miry clay, and that's the resurrection. But we know that happens at the same time as uh, the rapture. And he set my feet upon a rock, making my footsteps firm. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and trust in Yahuwah. Hallelujah. What a day that will be. What a day that will be. Mm. Let's be ready, brothers and sisters. The time is near. We need to make sure we're ready. We need to make sure we're allowing the Holy Spirit to work through us and transform us into a closer image of Himself. Let's spread the word. Let's shine his light and show his love. The time is near. And we have to sound the alarm. Many people are going to be destroyed. So let's walk out our faith. Let's trust in him no matter what. And let's spread the gospel. People need to know. And if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, call out to him today. We're living in the last days. There's not a lot of time left. And Jesus is coming soon. Jesus was prophesied about going back to the book of Genesis. And people have calculated the mathematical odds that one person could fulfill even eight Bible prophecies of the Messiah. Jesus fulfilled over 300 but the chances that one person could fulfill even just eight is comparable to filling the whole state of Texas two feet deep in silver dollars. One of the silver dollars has a mark on it. And you randomly reach in somewhere in Texas into the silver dollars and grab the one that has a mark on it. That's the chances that one person could fulfill even eight Bible prophecies of the Messiah. He fulfilled over 300, proving himself to be who the Bible says he is. Proving himself to be the Son of God. God requires perfection in order to enter his kingdom and live forever. And once we sin, we come under the condemnation of death. Because we're no longer eligible to live eternally once we sin. The punishment is death. And that's why we can't earn our way to heaven. We can't earn our way to eternal life. None of us are good enough. God requires perfection. 
But Jesus was perfect. He lived a perfect life. And in his perfection, he took on the punishment for us, made the sacrifice for us, so that through faith in him and what he did on the cross, we can receive his perfection, we can receive his righteousness, have our sins wiped away, and be made right with God, and be able to live forever with him in his kingdom. So choose life. Choose Jesus Christ today. We're living in the last days. There's not a lot of time left. Jesus loves you and he wants to save you. That's the end of Psalm 40. Thank you guys for tuning in. Love you guys. Shalom.